Hello and welcome to another YouTube video here on this channel. This one is actually a requested one. Someone asked me if I could do an AnyType tutorial and I have been testing out AnyType a lot and I've been using it a lot actually and the app is really great. So it's it looks a little bit like Notion but it has a, a more focus on privacy. So all of your files are stored inside of your local device in a uh, tiny text files. So I can show you how that works later, but everything is stored inside of your own device. That is good if you want privacy, but you also have to back up your notes yourself. So I have a backup inside of my cloud storage and I don't necessarily care too much about the privacy part, but I just simply like the app. But if privacy is really important to you, this is probably a blend between Obsidian's privacy and Notion's customizability. So we will just jump right into the app. It just got out of uh, the alpha stage and into beta. And the one thing that changed is that you now have something called widgets and we can easily add vid widgets or edit them as we want to and you can also add new ones you can't actually do something with the library or the bin and uh, inside of uh, any type we have a couple of things you need to learn the first one is called objects everything everything every time everything inside of uh, any type is called an object. So a book is an object, a note is an object, a page is an object, everything is an object. Then we have relations and relations are how things are related together. So this would probably inside of Notion be how uh, your filters are applied. So relations are just things that are linked together uh, and I will show you in depth how relations work later. Then we have the third one which is called collections. Collections is basically a folder. It is basically a folder for everything and the fourth one is a set and set are basically databases inside of something like Notion. So I use sets mostly inside of this app when I have been using it. And just full disclosure, I play around with the app, but I don't use it every single day, simply because it is too customizable and I always end up spending more time trying to make the perfect system instead of actually doing some work. But if that isn't a problem to you, let's jump right into any type and its tutorial. So the first thing I like to do inside of every app is to make a to-do uh, and a notes place and inside of something like any type or notion I would do it in databases or in any type sets but we actually get a couple of sets when we first start the app so we have a to-do set. I actually forgot to remove this one from my uh, last video but here I have a couple of things I want to do and we have statuses, priorities, linked projects and so on. These are actually relations and you can both add and remove different relations inside of here and you can also create new one. I will get back to that later as well. So this is a set based on the object type task. So a task is an object and this is a database based on tasks. So all of your tasks will be inside of this set or database. Then we can actually have different views inside of uh, any type as well. I like to have my to do's inside of a Kanban. I just like Kanban boards and we can easily do that as well. And if I go back into here, I can change the color or add new statuses. So I will just change this color to red and you will see that this one is red as well. We have my bookmarks. So this is a lot of objects that comes with the app. You can choose to delete them. I would recommend looking at them, but you can choose to delete them as well. Then we have all of our notes. So this is a database for all of our notes and I will come back and customize these later, but I will keep them because I need my to-dos and I need my notes and it's just a lot easier to customize something they already have made than making your own. 
and then we have the everything so this is everything inside of your uh inside of your workspace so let's just start off by uh testing this app the first thing i would do is because i work a lot with social media i would make myself a social media idea bank and i like to have that inside of a set because i like the database views and that's the main reason for using something like this is the database view uh, so we will go into my types and we will create a set and this set will be based on uh, a type so we can add different relations or we can actually base it on a type so i could also base it on artists or authors and have a database of all of the authors but this time i will base it out with one of my um one of my uh objects or types so we will use this social media idea bank this is called types, not objects. It is a little bit hard because there are so many things to remember, but I will base it off my uh, types. And um, I have made this type called social media idea bank, and there are a few things inside of this type. But just for the sake of this video, I will go in and delete my uh, delete my relation. Uh, the delete my type social media idea bank i can easily do that by going into my library going into types and search for social media idea bank so if you have made a type you're not happy with you can go in here and you can just delete the whole type uh, now the type isn't here anymore so there are a few of them you can delete i would recommend just sticking with most of these because these are actually quite good and quite handy to have so images movies files all of these things are quite handy to have uh, so these are any type library and my types and i can create new types as well as i've said before and these are the relations so you can do the same thing here you can remove different relations as well uh, so if we go back into my dashboard and we create what I call the social media idea bank. So we create a set and we create a new type and this will be called social media ideas. And I will call this one social media ideas and social media idea bank. So this is my social media idea bank. Let's just start by this video, any type tutorial. Just as in Notion, I could open this and write my script inside of here. I could also make it, I'm so sorry. I could also make it full screen if I wanted to, but I'm not going to do that right now. Uh, then we go into our social media idea bank. I will just have to delete this one as well because I have spent so many hours trying to film this video. Uh, so I have a few things I need to delete after I've made this one. But again, we can add different properties or relations. It is called relations, not properties inside of this app. I will struggle with this because I've been a Notion user for so long. But relations are basically properties inside of Notion. And I would like to have... a tag view for uh, my social media so I run a clothing brand and I run uh, my personal social medias so I would call this one uh, tag for social media uh, and we can create this relation and the relation type is a tag create then we have a tag for social media and this is personal uh, or it can be for my clothing brand, which is called Sekamora. So it can be both personal for uh, my clothing brand or actually both if I wanted to. Uh, and I will just change this to personal because I cannot write and I will never learn how to write. So I like to have a tag instead of a status property. So the difference is that with a tag property, you can have multiple tags. 
but with a status property you can only have one status i will show you uh, so if we add a status property inside of here i can only have one status inside of this app but if you see now it says to do doing or done i actually don't want that inside of my social media uh, database or my social media set i want to have that inside of my to do's but inside of my social media i want something else so i will call this status for social media and we can create a new relation relation type and this one is a status because you can't both be doing and be done with something so this one will be a status property or relation again i am so sorry for messing it up but uh, this uh, relation will have um, idea it can be um, felt it can be in editing uh, again editing or it can be uh, published published did i write that correctly Let's say I wrote it correctly. Then the next thing I would like to do is just to have a Kanban view of this. And we can change the group by into status for social media. And this is being filmed right now. And then we can go back into this and you will see that the status here have changed. So this will only be personal, not for my uh, uh, clothing brand. So the other things I would like to have, is there any other relations I would like to have? Uh, a due date would be great. Is it inside of here? Yes, I can have a due date inside of here as well. So if I wanted to be done by a certain point, I could have my due date inside of here, just like in the to-do, it has a due date. Uh, so you can easily just pick a due date uh, and have it be shown. So I would like to have a due date, but that's all the things I would like to have. Then we have my notes and we are going to go in and customize the notes. So let's just create a note. Uh, let's say this one is for my any type video and I will say any type. type. Oh, I still can't write any type is a great app. Okay, now we have our note and I would like this note to have a few things. I would like it to have a few relations and I will show you why later. So uh, I would like it to have a tag uh, and it is going to be either personal or for my clothing brand, but I would like to add a couple of different things as well. So I would probably be adding, I like to organize all of my things inside of Para. So I like the framework of Para. So let's say projects, resources, um, an archive. And I have my areas as well, which is personal, Sekamora or social media. So that's my areas and my... Uh, and my projects and resources so um i would tag this one with social media because it is going to be used in social media so i again i like to use para i think para is a great way to organize things you could instead of using the tag property you could actually make a para property if you wanted to but i'm just going to use the tag property because it is a lot simpler and you have different ways to look at your notes you have notes from today which has a filter that filters it to today and you have from last week and you can actually add different views as well uh, and you can drag these to change how uh, it looks so I like to have all of my notes in front of me so I will just have the all here but I think it's good to see the notes from today and last week as well so I won't delete this but you could right click and remove the view as well then we have our tags and um, I would like 
to see the um, last modified date as well. Uh, and then we have all of the things I need. You can add, for example, the description as well. If you take a little bit longer notes, I don't tend to take longer notes, so I won't do that. But the reason for me to actually add relations and uh, customize this a little bit is because I want to build myself a dashboard. So the way you link different things together inside of any type is by using the at. So as you can see here, it has a graph and you can uh, look at all of your notes in the graph and look how things are connected together. So if we go back into my dashboard, the way you link is by using at, then I can link it to my social media idea bank, or I could actually make a new page which I am going to do. Uh, I will call this page my clothing brand dashboard. And then we can go here and press at and fix my clothing brand dashboard. I like my dashboard to be visually pleasing. So I will make this a call out and I will change the background color to, let's change it to pink. And I will also make a dashboard for my personal social media. So then again, I will create a page. I will call this personal social media. And again, we can press at personal social media and I can change this to uh, purple. Have I used the color purple? Let's change this to blue. It's blue now and we can change this to a call out as well i'm sorry i misclicked call out and we can drag this next to the clothing brand dashboard and i also want to have my uh to do's on my dashboard so i would like to have the set inside of here so the way you do that is by pressing backslash inline and you can have inline collections or inline sets. But if you search for sets, you get two options. You get uh, a, to create a new set or you can use an inline, inline set. So if you use an inline set, you can actually link it to an already existing database. And that's what I am going to do. So this will be all of my to do's. And I will uh, add a property to this one. Uh, or a filter to this one. So I will call this one today. And I would like to have my today view here. Um, so I can see all of the things that needs to be done today. Then we can press new filter. And we can do uh, due date is today. Then I will have all of uh, the things I have to do today inside of my dashboard. Uh, that's just an easy way to uh, for me to see all the things I have to do right now. So again, due date and I can have um, my description uh, uh, here as well. And then I can see all of my to do's today. So I can just start off by doing things and I can easily just check them out when I am done. Uh, so that's how you create uh, a linked database or a linked set. But we are going back to my uh, clothing brand dashboard and we are going to build this out. So the first thing I want to do is to have an inline set with my social media idea bank. And before I uh, fix the filters on this one and fix the view on this one, I will go into my social media idea bank and I will create a new object and I will call this a get ready with me because I need to film a get ready with me video. It's an idea and it is for Sakamura. It can again, once again, I could have this be both Sakamura and personal. Uh, so if I wanted to do a get ready with me for my own social medias as well, I would tag it with both. So the reason for that status is simply because I want to change up my uh, filters inside of here. So if I just remove this one, I add a new filter and the filter was called 
it's called tag for social media and I have it right here actually. So it's called tag for social media. Then I can go into my filters. Then we can find tags for social media. Can we actually find tags for social media? Tag for social media has any of and we can add Sekamora. Then I will get all of my ideas for my um, for uh, my uh, clothing brand inside of my clothing brand dashboard. And I can add another one as well. Let's make an inline inline set. And we can use the notes. This is the reason for why I used my um, I customized this tag as well. So let's call this. This is for Sakamura. Uh, if this was for Sakamura, but I will make a new note instead. Um, and I will call this outfit video. I will call this outfit video and I could take notes on my outfit videos. Let's say that I want to use this boat for Sakamura as well as my uh personal social media, I would tag this with both Sakamura and social media. Then we can head back into the clothing brand dashboard and I could add a filter on this one as well. So let's once again find the necessary filter. But before I do that, I will probably have to add the tag. It is already added. So let's find the right filter. Uh, it is called tag and has any of and we can add Sekamora. Then it will bring up all the notes regarding Sekamora. So that's how you do this as well. Then you can have filtered views across your different workspace. So if you head back to this one you can see that here I have all of my notes but because I have a different filter inside of here I will only get the notes regarding my clothing brand inside of here and you can also change up your views as well so i like seeing it in a list but uh, you can also look at it in a database and you can actually change up the filters here as well or you can just create another view you can have it as a gallery if you like seeing your notes as a gallery which is quite aesthetically pleasing. So this is how you link different sets into different pages. Now we can uh, finish building this one out and I just have to remind you that Anytype is still a new app. It is still in development so some things might not work and you can always give your feedback to the team. and. Uh, my, in my experience, they actually listen a lot to their consumers, which is great. So again, I could also do this with my to-dos. So if I wanted all of my to-dos regarding Sekamora, I could add the to-do here and I could go back into my to-do and I could use the relation I have already made, which was the tag relation, it is called the tag relation. Uh, so if I use the tag relation, it is already here. I could tag this. So let's tag this with um, Sekamora. And I could move this over here and I could make this one longer as well. And we can go back into our uh, dashboard. So if I go back into my clothing brand dashboard and I change the filter on this to uh, tag, has any of, and we add Sekamora, I will get my to-dos regarding Sekamora and I can also uh, watch it in a board. The only thing is that you have to change your filters for all of your specific views. So you can't do this for one view and get it across all of your reviews. You have to actually do it for every single one. Has any of add Sekamora. Now we have a um, Kanban board as well. So doing done. 
and you can move it around inside of a Kanban board if you wanted to. So that's actually how I would build out uh, a couple of dashboards. I would have my to-dos inside of here and you can customize it the way you want. So if you have any questions on how you want to do certain things inside of any type, please do comment down, uh, do comment them down below and I will try to make a video on everything as soon as I can. But this was a basic tutorial on how you can build your sets and link different things together inside of the app. And I just want to show you one more thing before I, before I am done. So if I would make another note, which is called breakdown of outfit, I could actually tag this with the, or link this to my outfit video, and I could start writing down here. And if we then go back into our uh, graph, you can see that things are linked together. So let's go back into our graph. You can see that everything is linked together. So you can always link different things together inside of this app, which gives you this great graph as well. Uh, so as you can see, the marketing campaign, the collection for the marketing campaign is linked to the, um, to the start a campaign uh, task and you can also look at it with flows like this and once again I will show you one more thing and that's actually collections so collections are basically folders inside of uh, inside of uh, any type so I can make a new collection let's call this Sekamora um, and the only thing I would like them to add inside of collections, but it, because it feels like collections doesn't yet know what it is supposed to be. But right now it works kind of like a folder, but I would like the ability to drag different things inside of my uh, collections. So if, if I could just drag my notes into the collection, that would be great, but I can't do that right now. So to explain how collections work, uh, let's call this start campaign. Start, I can't write campaign two. I will just add, um, add a relation so you can understand it better. So let's just write something inside of here. So this is a note, this is a task I could add several different things inside of this uh, inside of this collection so it can be a lot of different things inside of um, inside of the collections so every object can be inside of a collection so you can have several different things inside of your several several different types inside of your uh, collections that's the difference between a collection and a set so set are based on types while inside of a collection you can have everything and if you wanted to you could also make a collection for people in your life using the human object uh, as your base for that set I can just show you that as well so you understand it Let's call this one, uh, let's actually create a new page. Um, and we will call this one people in my life. And we can create a new set. Let's create a new inline set um, based on the human. So now you can see the humans um, and I can edit the title to be people, people in my life. And I would actually like to have a gallery view because I can put different profile pictures for people and easily see them. Uh, so that's how you can make a set based on the people in your life. And you can 
build it out uh, or put it into your dashboard if you wanted to by using at people in my life and then we can change the text style on this as well. So that's a basic overview on how any type sets and databases and just any type in general works. If you want a more in-depth review or there are things you are uh, having questions about, please do comment them down below and I will try to get to them as soon as I can. Do subscribe to the channel, give this uh, video a like and I hope to see you again quite soon.